Hello everyone, welcome to the next session of the videos How to Draw What You See. And in this uh, series of videos, uh, we'll talk a little bit uh, in much uh, more in depth about, about uh, certain details of the uh, body parts. Uh, we'll start with the face. And uh, the first subject I will talk to you about is the eyes. How to draw, how to proceed, proceed with the eyes and everything. I already mentioned this previously. Uh, but very briefly, and now we will try to elaborate a bit more on the subject. Mm -hmm. So, here we go. The first thing in the eye you have to look for is this its form. Normally what I see, a lot of eyes that way draw or whatever is, this, the, the, the shapes are mostly like this. This might be interesting, for example, you never have eyes like this when you have corners here and like this. This is not the real form of the eye. You know, uh, Egyptians were doing this kind of eyes, whatever. But normally, um, in realistic portraiture, uh, very important, the form of the eye you have to analyze. Because in uh, artistic portraiture, you can have one eye like this, one kind you can have like this, for example. Okay, you can have nose, whatever. You can have, you know, lips, whatever. And this, you know, it's, artistic portrait is a completely different thing. You still might have the character of the person, you still might have the resemblance of the person by the simplistic form or not really necessarily simplistic, sometimes realistic forms, but you know, not really in real proportions. You might have, you know, form of the head done realistically, you know, realistic shapes and everything, okay? But you can have, you know, this kind of, you know, uh, forms, uh, you know, not really based on realistic, you know, um, um, uh, they were inspired by the, uh, this kind of forms are inspired by the realistic shapes of the person, but not, not uh, done in a realistic way, okay? So you might have lips, sometimes you might extend them, even if it's realistically done. So it all depends. In realistic portrait, it's very important, you know, to really um, well analyze each part of the face in order to do it in the proper manner. So, as I said, the shape of the eye is very important. And we have all kinds of shapes of the eyes. If you look at the person, you observe yourself or others, well, you will see that there is differences. So basically, the classical shape of the eye is approximately, you know, around, around these lines here, okay? And you have some kind of bay here, okay, which is separated a little bit here. And this goes to the corner, okay? So this is much more like kind of classical form of the eye, let's say, okay? The same in each eye, this part of the eye might be larger, might be larger, might be smaller. There are all kind of forms here, you know, of the eye, and the same is under the eye. Some are smaller, very narrow, some are much more, you know, deeper. So this is all gives, what it, what it makes the eye much, you know, give the characteristic of the person its um, uh, its features, uh, particularities of its facial, facial features. So, as I said, so you have classic form of the eye, for example, okay, which is something around those lines. Then you might have, you know, this kind of eyes, you know, this kind of eyes. You might have much more rectangular form of the eyes, okay, like this. You might have much more, you know, bumpy look like this, okay, and you might even have eyes having shapes like that, okay. So how important it is, if you look at the faces, for example, let's do some simplistic faces, one, two, you know, not many, but one, two, three, for example, faces approximately. If I put, you know, eyes like this here, you see, or eyes like this here, okay, or eyes horizontally, you see that each of these persons has really certain particularities and is different. And if I add to this eyebrows, for example, or here like this, and like this, or here maybe like this, okay? So you see each is different, different persons. And we, this is just the eyes. I didn't put the nose and the lips and everything. So it's very important. The eyes are the most important in realistic portrait because there, uh, if you get the eyes right, your portrait will be successful. Even if you do some kind of, uh, uh, the shapes of the nose are not uh, perfectly uh, the same, or the lips, whatever. Eyes, if you have the look of the person, if you catch the form, 
if you catch the you know um, intensity of the lines because when you look at the eye it's not just this form of the eyes also is the intensity of line here how strong is this line because normally these top lines are much more stronger this much more on the on the right side and much more darker but this is much more here is sometimes it's very light line only so just look at these parts and also these parts for example sometimes it might be like this sometimes it might be just like this and sometimes it might be big and sometimes they might have all kind of forms even in very classical eye you might have this kind of forms over here so that's very important and as I mentioned already the lower part might be deeper might be just like this or might be you know almost not visible okay or might be maybe something around those lines so all these elements are very important now uh, it's also very important before you draw the eye or analyze the eye and look if the angle if the eye, if the eye is horizontal or maybe angular in one or the other way so how to do that when you have the eye when you look at the eye the, the most important thing to look before you start drawing the eye is you see this point this corner and this corner look if they are situated on the horizontal line. How to do it? Just place your pencil horizontally and look from this corner to this corner, place the pencil and see, you know, if you put the, pen, the, the pencil horizontally, you will see if they have, they on the same line approximately, or maybe you have something around those lines that one eye is like this. And if I put the pencil horizontally, you, you see what is happening here? That this point is higher, this point is lower. What it means that I have angle of the eyes that way going, okay? Or might I, I might have opposite way. I might have something around those lines, for example, okay? So if I go horizontally here, I know that doesn't work, so it's this line, you see, this angle. So, and it's, you know, it's, this is really characteristics, uh, very important. The angle of the eye, the form of the eye, and the intensity of, of the line, you know here is darker or just lighter when you have blonde people you don't have this very intensive here you have very light thing so look at all these elements the most important is the corners so you can see if the eyes have a angles okay or they horizontally situated or they angular that way and after is the shape of the eye you might have all kind of you may encounter you know all kind of shapes you know so just look at this how they how they are because each of this eye if you look the right shape this is already successful because it's right away gonna gonna approach you closer to the person um, uh, characteristics you know uh, particular characteristics of the person you draw so that is very important to look at now Let's go back to the eye again. So, for example, if I have this, okay, let's say let's work in the, with this kind of eyes. Eye, of course, this part is always separated. So, as you know, this this forms are always different, and uh, also the shape of the eyes. Sometimes you can have even eye, very open eye. There are some people who have eyes like this, very open. Okay, most of the time, you know, with this kind of uh, type of eye. Um, you have this part of the eye much more stronger and you have this part much more stronger. Not always the case, but, but most of the time it might happen that way. So, um, there's still yet another part of the eye to do. I met no, now, one uh, the important thing here, one important thing is that the eyebrows, the eyelashes, sorry, are coming from this part directly. From this part, not really. From this part, you have like kind of very thin line here, and the eyelashes on the lower part are a little bit separated from the main contour line of the eyes. Why? Because if I draw you the eye, for example, from the angle, okay, from the angle, you're gonna have the eye approximately that way, okay? Okay, so from the angle, you see, when I do this, when I do this, okay, and now I have light coming from here. So look, here I don't see the interior part of the 
of the eye here. But I see the interior part here because the light is hitting this space. Basically is this space here. So those eyelashes here are most of the time a little bit separated from the eye. Look, observe closely, you will, you will, you will see it. So the eyelashes here, as you see, is, is separation. So just remember that, that, you know, you have this kind of, this eye, eyelashes a little bit lower. Because as you can see it here, for example, there is a space which, where the light is hitting here, okay? On the lower part of this, of the eye, okay? So um, that's why it's important to look at this, these things. Now, the, the corners of the eyes, sometimes they are connected, sometimes they are not. Here you're going to have always like this shape. Of course, here you're going to have, you know, the nose parts and everything goes nose and then you're going to have the eyebrows here going approximately, okay? So basically from here and there you have always shadows. From here you have kind of connections to the eyebrows. If you look closely, you will see the shadows going here to form the eye, like a, like a kind of, you know, sphere placed into the uh, scalp hole because that's what it is, you know. And after you draw this part, you have to remember when you draw the inside part, here, leave one or two bleaks, you know, in the in the black. It gives the eye much more lively look. And of course, after this part is always darker because you have shadows coming. You see here, this is always in shadow. This part, the top of the of the eye, and leave a little bit lighter places on the lower part. Okay. So basically, that's how it how it how how would it how would it go. And of course, after here, you can make a little bit shadows here. This part normally has a little bit in shadow, a little bit in shadow here. And of course you have also around these lines here, shadows on this eye and everything. So there is details, we're going to work with this a little bit later, much more. Now these lines are always much more darker, so basically all these parts, for example, okay, sometimes as I said, they connect, sometimes they not. They disappear here, they fade. So just look really closely when you're going to draw the eye, if there's the connections or there are no connections, okay? Uh, so as I say, the eyelash, uh, eyelash is coming from this top line, but the lower is just here. So, uh, why it is deformed like this? Because look, if you, for example, take, let's, let's take, for example, uh, scalp here, okay, approximately. You have the, you know, eye holes here. In the scalp. So our eye is a kind of suspended in the air by muscles, it's connected to the scalp here and of course nervous system, all this stuff. You know? So it's like this. So the form here, as you know, if you you know remember the you know um, uh, how looks the um, um, scalp, uh, you have here you know holes and basically from the profile, if you would look this in the profile, so we have something like this. And our eyes are here, okay. And of course, they are, they are connected by a series of muscles to the to the scalp. And of course, after the that's why the skin covers this part. And you have this, you have this, and you have this, and you have this. So basically, from the from the from the side, it would it going to look approximately you know that way, okay. From the side, it's going to look approximately that way, okay here and there, okay, and you have here this part, and another you have here, and that's it is, and here is the nose, for example, and here is the front head, and you have the eyebrows here, for example, okay, and you have connection here, so all this is like kind of all together connected, you know, that's why it's important to look a little bit on the, um, you know, uh, anatomical drawings of the face, to just and how it, uh, understand a little bit the form, how it, uh, the eye is formed, why you have this kind of, you know, um, uh, forms like, for example, from the profile. If you look, you have you go inside. After we have eyes here, okay, and after we go like this, and from here is the nose coming, okay, here and everything, and there is the lips and everything. So this would give you some kind of idea how everything works.
So, um, uh, the one thing, for now, everything what I was telling you here is what, uh, when you look at the eye and the person straight in the eye, into his eyes. But there is differences if you, for example, uh, if the person is looking down, okay, or is, for example, looking up, there's different angles and the eye will change its proportions also. Uh, it's going to be kind of shortening. So, for example, if you have person uh, from the half profile, for example, okay, so let's say we have nose here, approximately somebody's nose, and here, of course, we have the the R, the eye is here, somewhere here, you know, we have this, this, and the eye goes here, and there, and there's the cheek, and then after you have the eyebrows here. On the other side, if you take one eye, the, so you have approximately here another eyebrows coming, and of course you have the shadows here on this side of the nose, and you have the other eye coming. And the other eye now doesn't gonna have this kind of shape because it's angular. So basically you're gonna have this kind of shape here on this eye because you're looking at the eye from different angle, from the perspective kind of uh, angle. So that, the, then you're gonna have, of course, the eye, you know, in, in such way, okay? So eyelashes, whatever, here and there in the forms, even if there's something, and there's a full connection of the shadows here, connections of the shadows here, a bit there, a little bit more here, and you have some kind of lashes here. So, you know, that's all of, a lot of this, you have shadows here, you have shadows there. It's not about this, just trying to, you know, approximately lead you to the um, shape of the eye, what kind of shape you're gonna have from the half profile, for example, okay? From profile, you know already, because I drew here this kind of profile eye. And now, when, the eye, when somebody is looking up, for example, you're going to have, what's going to happen with the eye? You're going to have eye approximately going that way, you see? So the person is either looking here, something, looking up, okay? So here you're going to have this, okay, parts, okay? And here you're going to have much more larger part. Why? Because you look, the person is looking up. So basically, you're gonna have something along those lines. Those eyelashes gonna be here, and the others here. And the eyebrows, in such case, is gonna be much more closer here. You see, you're gonna have approximately much more closer. It depends the angle. So if the person is looking from, from the, you look at the person from the top, you're looking down. The eyes also gonna change. What's gonna change? Well, this gonna change, that the eye gonna be rather much more around those shapes, okay? because you're going to have this here, okay, around it, and of course you have uh, the person looking, let's say, down, or whatever, you can make them looking down, or you can make them looking up, you know, so from this, this, this perspective, you will have, for example, the eyebrow here, okay, and the person is going to go uh, looking down, or even more down, if you put it much more like this, for example, you're going to have this here, okay, and this approximately here, and you look at the person who's looking, for example, that way, down. So this is going to be yet another part, another difference, you know, in the eyes. So there's all kind of angles of the eyes, and you just have to look, um, you know, and study it, okay? So for now, let's do um, a little bit the eye, um, one of the eye, um, uh, to just re re recapitulate. Uh, what is the most important is, of course, first is the shape of the eye. Secondly, is the corners of the eye, okay? Either they are horizontal or angular, you check it out. Then, if you have the rest of the eye, look at this form, how is this form? Is it connected here, is it not? how it goes. Look at these parts here and look the lower part, how it goes. Now, the eyelashes come from this part mostly connected. So normally this part is always darker and this corner is a little bit more darker, but the eyelashes in the lower part come a little bit separated, okay? A little bit lower part, uh, much more separated. So now, if we go, if we have the nose here, and we have the eyebrows somewhere around those lines here, okay? 
So look now, because here you're gonna have kind of form where normally you're gonna have the shadows connected, the, eye, uh, the, the eyebrow to your eyelashes somehow, you know, with the shadows. And the same, you're gonna have stronger shadow on this, on this lines here and and here and also this part's going to be having much more shadow here and there now if we if you draw the inside part of the eye okay so draw this dark and leave one two bleaks for example to give a little bit much more light life of the to your eye put a little bit much more darker spots from the top a little bit much more shadow and now again going to the whites here of the eyes you always from the top you're going to have a little bit shadow and this bay is going to be separated and um, a little bit by the shadow and the same you're going to have here separated from the shadow from the top is going to be a little bit shadow so normally this lines are much more darker here this is lighter on the sides and now Underneath, you're going to have also small shadows. And of course, it depends. The form sometimes is deeper, much more larger. Sometimes is nothing here. You know, in the older person, you have very disemphasized this part. And young, you don't see anything almost here. It's just slightly shadow down here and there. So um, uh, uh, let's draw now a little bit the eye, you know, with the charcoal. Let's say, for example, I will choose some kind of form of the eye. And when you draw the eye, don't draw all the veins and everything which, is, which, which are in the eye. It's not really, you know, important because in the size of the portraiture like this, you don't, it's not necessary to do all these details unless you do very high, uh, hyper-realistic portraiture. Then it's different story and big portraiture and everything. That is different thing. But uh, before you start drawing portraitures and two eyes, draw first one. Learn how to draw one eye, and after you can apply this knowledge to the, you know, uh, both eyes. So, for example, you draw this. You, you you just look at this part how it is. Of course, here is a little bit here and there. Okay, here, and of course I go the inside part. I draw the inside part very very briefly. You know, here I do some kind of bleaks here and there. Okay, I put a little bit much more darker this part. Okay, mm -hmm. here I ap apply a little bit much more dark, a little bit much more dark here. Okay, on this areas here. And of course, now I go with the part where with the nose. So the nose is going to be approximately like this. And of course, after you do the eyebrow, you know, approximately some kind, some kind of form of the eyebrow here. Of course, you can might you can do the eyebrow much more realistically. That means that you can put with the kind of few hairs here, few hairs here, so you can add much more like hairy kind of eyelashes, whatever is the case. Maybe a little bit here, even there. <clears throat> so now, what is important to know is that, of course, you know that the topper part is a little bit much more darker, and this corner is much more darker, and then the eyelashes if it comes from here. It comes actually from this line directly. The lower part, you they don't come directly, they come a little bit kind of, you know, separated because of the light, okay? So you have like kind of second line if you look there. And one thing is important now that somewhere in this area you're gonna have kind of shadowing to do, okay? And also here you will have, you know, a little bit the eye eyebrows actually would kind of connect the eye a little bit with the shadows here. So you're gonna have some kind of shadows also here okay this you go this separate little bit here and of course you can you know put some maybe shadows here so basically you can actually work with it um, either you can use the paper stack after to make it you know much more elaborated you know shadows and everything much more you know uh, live looking or you can simply go faster with you know uh, or rub your kind of around your um, uh, you know um, um, finger paper you know towel and you just go and you know walk or walk with it it depends what kind of medium you're using i use charcoal because it's just a little bit is, is, uh, faster but but normally i prefer to do it in pencil but we have no time for it to really elaborate it perfectly you know to do the draw the eye super hyper perfectly but at least i would like to show you you know how you should actually uh, what is important to
really after emphasize and after look here is a little bit shadow so with the shadow I separate a little bit this part and I leave the white bleak here because it's important and the same I from the topper parts I also add some shadows on the eye you know and leave this big here so where I have this you know um, lower parts of eyelashes I can maybe emphasize a little bit with the black and of course now I can also emphasize a little bit with the black black certain parts of the eye okay and with the eyelashes and everything I can go much more you know in depth so basically if you just you know add a little bit more dark here there and all these parts you know you know, walk it darker whatever parts are darker and here you know that parts for example if you need a little bit much more darker go for it if you want to emphasize a little bit this part stronger go for it and here and there so you just simply you know uh, draw the eye approximately very briefly uh, you know um, uh, many times so you're just going to learn the uh, of course after is the separation in nose but we're going to talk at some other time about these details and now one important thing is you see these parts are going to be a little bit less lighter than here so we're going to have kind of you know um, mm, eye look here so you just you know add a little bit much more a few lines here and there you disperse them with the you know even a little bit more you do always leave a little bit white because that's what gives you the, 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 the you know um, lively kind of look of the eye of course uh, if you do with the pencil you can do perfectly well all the decals and um, and once you you do this when you practice one eye then after is the time of course to to do it both together how you're gonna do it uh, if you you know you just make yourself horizontal line and if you know that the eyes are, let's say, horizontal or angular, whatever is the case, if they're angular, you make a little bit angles like this, and you start drawing. So from here you go, for example, and here you have this, and you go, one eye is here. Now you know very well, because I explained you this in the portraiture already, that uh, the difference, the, you know, uh, the, the space between eyes is one eye so basically if I have one eye approximately here so the other eye if I have angle or angle here the other eye will start somewhere here I look horizontally if there is okay and of course you go down and you go there and you draw the other eye there so now you can of course draw all the other parts you know the, the eye much more perfectly and the eyebrows depend what kind of eyebrows you have also symmetrical you know everything and the eyes here of course you know uh, symmetrical and the same here symmetrical everything you know do the eyes very fast everything and of course if there is some kind of you know uh, stuff here and there and there and there and there and add a little bit much more you know character to the to the eyebrows whatever you know you go there and after of course you're going to have this you're going to have the part of the nose you're going to have these connections here, emphasize a little bit there, so you know that this is kind of shadows, this is kind of shadows. And of course, if the nose, for example, has this kind of forms approximately, okay, so of course, you know that this is going to be, this part is going to be also a little bit in shadow. And of course, here you go with this, here you go with this. So it depends, it depends how, you, how, how the person is, you, can, you, you work with it. This part here is also, this, the most stronger shadows are here, here. This is much more lighter, because why? When you have the front, you see here, for example, from the profile, you have this and this and the nose. So this part here is this one. So as you see, there is a valley there. And if the light is hitting this part, it projects shadow on the uh, top of the nose. So you have to put it a little bit in the shadow, this part. Anyway, we're going we're gonna to work this stuff a little bit more later. For now, just first simply practice the shapes of the eyes. That's very important. First, practice on one eye everything what I was explaining to you here. And after, try to uh, do them together. And, of course, elabor much more elaborated uh, way to draw them. So, um, this is... This is about eyes, just part of the information about the eyes, because there's many things, uh, different angles and everything. We, we didn't yet talk about the angles, but uh, too much. But, but you know, if you observe very well, you will, you will, um, 
you will understand how it works. Anyway, I will return to this with the uh, just with the angles, different angles of the eyes, in uh, some of the next uh, videos. Until now, you just practice the shapes, practice the form of the eyes, understand how you have to look for the shapes, how the angles, and uh, how you need to process, uh, you know, the eyes, what is where how you, uh, which part in the shadows, which are not, how to uh, do the lashes, all these small elements are very useful at the beginning when you practice. You know, before you start drawing port portraiture, you should first know how to draw the eyes and practice a lot. So I wish you good luck and see you soon next time. Thank you.